future is here at the Paris Air Show. This touchscreen avionics human interface system, designed by Talas, is planned to board the flight decks of commercial aircraft by the end of the decade. Dubbed Avionics 2020, the next generation cockpit allows hands-on interaction and intuitive human-machine interfaces using head-up and head-down technologies. So what you have here is uh, the cockpit of the A350. The idea of Avionics 2020 is to focus on three main topics. First, bringing a very interactive and intuitive uh, cockpit uh, that is crew-centric, meaning uh, focused onto pilot task. Second is think about a cockpit that is natively Caesar and next-gen compliant. And third is the idea of bringing to our customer an open platform that they could customize according to their requirements and for instance be able to adapt it to biz jet, to air transport, to helicopter or even to some kind of military aircraft. So let's do some kind of tour of what we've got here. First thing is that we have worked a lot on uh, touch interaction. Uh, how can we bring very easy and comfortable interaction here? So that's the reason why the screen are so close to you, so that you can have some kind of very simple and comfortable way to interact with the displays. You can, for instance, here pinch, um, zoom, uh, move through those charts very, very naturally. So the system is reacting exactly as you would expect and that's very important from a human factor perspective. Bringing this interaction allows us to imagine removing parts of those control panels that you got everywhere in the cockpit. And for instance, bringing some kind of interactive uh, way to handle the system. You remember that in the current cockpit, you've got those overhead panel with a lot of buttons. Here you can directly interact with this button very simply. Now let's see how we can interact with this. First, I want to go to Nice, so I just select Nice here, enter it. It proposed to me everything that is related to Nice, like for instance the airport. I can select it as being my new destination. And now I can select my flight plan very, very simply by just clicking on the different airways and waypoint I need to go through. So as you can see, I have a very, very simply selected my flight plan, I see the lateral here, vertical there, and here I see the timeline which show me the whole flight, including the uh, taxiing part. And that's very, very interesting for us because it helps the pilot to see everything that will happen during the flight.